Hey Geminis, welcome back to my channel. I've been getting hit hard with Mercury retrograde and you guys are Mercury ruled, so I'm wondering how it is affecting you. And I usually don't buy that much into it, but it's been crazy. I already tried your reading and I'm doing another go around. So anyways, thank you guys for always supporting me. Please continue to like, subscribe and share um, my video. Uh, commenting is really important too because it allows my video to continue circulating. So I was already halfway done with your reading and I got um, uh, interrupted. So let's see if I'm getting a similar message here, okay? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, uh, Gemini's. I'm gonna pull one mystic, mystical shaman card for the overall energies and see what's going on with you guys, okay? For the month of March, I'm doing March readings. Can you believe it? It's already upon us here. All right. The Holy Mountain. Number 25, that number might ring a bell to you guys, okay? It might be symbolic for something for you. Number 25, page 50, okay. Let's see what it says about the holy mountain. Sounds very spiritual, but this whole deck is spiritual. So, native peoples around the earth recognize mountains as places of great power where one encounters spirit or where the gods or goddesses reside. In ancient Greece, Mount Olympus was the home of the 12 main gods and goddesses. In Tibet, pilgrims cir circumambulate Mount Kailash to bring prosperity. In Peru, pilgrims climb the ice cap Mount Os Osengate, Os got gate to receive the starlight and bring fire to the earth the holy mountain invites you to go on a sacred pil pilgrimage to acquire vision and perspective first you must accept the present situation as an opportunity to discover higher understanding find a sacred altar where others who came before you have prayed and found wisdom and make your offering there make a commitment to walk with courage love and compassion until you see with clarity the perfection of all when the holy mountain shows up, it is time to be active. Do not let your doubts deter you and keep you bound. This is a time to leap over challenges and to remember that from the top of the mountain where there are no obstacles, only beauty and an un unobstructed view of the entire earth. There's no need to go shopping for the right hiking boots or camping equipment to climb the holy mountain. You already have all the gear you need. Overcome any lethargy, indolence, and laziness as these are real obstacles. So I kind of feel like with this, this could be one of two things. It could be an opportunity for you guys to really search within yourself for the strength to overcome maybe a big obstacle, but it also could just be that you guys feel like there is um, a huge mountain in front of you that you have to climb and you don't quite know how to do it, okay? Um, but this is saying that like all obstacles are opportunities for you to find a way over it on on it through it okay but it's always an opportunity of you searching for something within yourself that will help you overcome it and learning new things about yourself so if you see any mountains that feel like you can't climb them remember that you're being presented with that mountain because there's something in you maybe a strength you haven't um finessed that is actually something that you need to know about yourself to get through over this mountain okay it's kind of similar because the reading i had just started for you guys was about like um flying over obstacles okay so this is climbing it this is finding that strength so i'm getting like a strong leo energy and actually maybe capricorn because like the mountain goat and capricorns have that strength in them okay so i'm going to pull two cards for past energy here Ooh, we've got ten of wands and king of wands this is that heavy energy that i was talking about feeling like you have to climb this mountain um some of you guys could have felt like you were carrying a really heavy burden. It could have been a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo in your life, a masculine energy that for some reason, maybe there was a loss with them. Maybe there was pressure from them. Maybe there was unrequited love from them. Maybe there was discord with them. I don't know, but there was something with this fire sign energy or some kind of heaviness that came with it could have also been, it doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but it could have just been an energy of feeling like you just don't have that king of wands strength to get over whatever it is that you feel like you need to get over and you're carrying it and you're carrying these wands, but the one wand that you need to actually find that, like not even strength, king of wands is very Leo energy. I'm getting that Leo again, but 
that um, oomph, that energy that you need to get through, you just don't feel like you have. This is past energy though. So let's see what we have presently here, okay? I feel like you guys are doubting yourself a lot too. Like you're seeing it as so burdensome because you guys, I can't make this up. Look what I just pulled, strength. <laughs> wow. Some of you guys are either definitely dealing with a Leo or definitely having to find this strength within you to overcome something. I can't even believe that. Five of Cups, grief. I feel like some of you guys had like a father figure, could have been a fire sign or someone that was just very enthusiastic, very lively. You could have lost this person. You could have never really had them in your life the way you wanted, but there's definitely a strength that's needed to overcome some major grief right now major feeling of loss but you know what's funny about this five of cups is that rainbow behind her okay there is going to be a rainbow after this rain after this heavy period all right so your back is turned to it but know that you have all the tools you need to overcome this okay um i love that that strength came up i can't believe it all right so future energies for gemini what are they King of Swords. The last reading I was doing for you guys, I got two kings. Now I got two kings again. It's definitely a heavy masculine energy. Um, I feel like this is you guys wanting to harness your thoughts. Your, you want to be strong of mind and you want to... Um, your desire is to almost like be kind of more detached, I feel like here, okay? Um, you also just may have a lot of things that you want to fulfill and your emotions, your grief is getting in the way here, okay? So um, with this nine of cups, I feel like your wishes can come true and it might just need, it might just require you to um, sort out your thoughts and be very rational in your decisions, not lead with your emotions right now, which you guys are good at doing. Um, also, maybe consulting with another air sign could help you, maybe a Libra or another Gemini that you know, someone that could help you remind you of who you are and your your strength is that you're very mentally um, astute. Geminis like are so smart and they're so... Um, they're really good at absorbing information and always finding the information that they need to overcome anything through with their mind. So remember that's your strength. Mercury and Pisces could be making you feel a little bit disabled in that area. So just try to keep yourself maybe reminding yourself of that part of you, okay? Alrighty. So we're going to go into a love dynamic and see if you guys are dealing with a love dynamic, what the current energies are, okay? We've already got um, a card that flew out. So, um, I mean, that I saw, so, but it's okay. Um, so, you might be in separation with this person. You might be dealing with them, but we're just going to find out the current energies, okay? So, we're using Hidden Truth Oracle, Signs of Darkness and Spirit of Darkness and Light from Mystic Moon and um, Healers of the Earth Oracle, which I love that Oracle deck as well, so... What is going on with Gemini and their person, okay? For March, all right? Got Spirit of the Cross, Burden, Hardship, Lessons. You guys, I'm getting so many synchronistic messages here. That's all about the Ten of Wands. It's like this cross to bear. It could be like a childhood wound of like a father figure, you know, that you just never had that you maybe feel like is now hindering your current relationships. It could be something in this current relationship. I'm saying that because I got so many kings. Sometimes I stay awake at night thinking about you. I feel like this burden is mutual. You both have this cross to bear with this connection, okay? Um, receiving care, attention, domestication, cherished pet. Some of you guys could be... Um, needing to maybe connect more with animals to help you through this time or you might feel really alone you might feel really like you don't have the strength but the what's interesting guys is this is another cat with the strength I swear I mean it's just crazy what's happening in this reading so if you're wondering if this person is thinking about you in the connection I feel like it's a mutual energy you guys are both experiencing okay I'm just gonna pull a card from the mystic grief oh my god you guys so much sadness and grief here and I feel like it's in both parties all right so don't think that your sadness is not felt felt on the other side okay also with this cross it's like that holy 
finding your strength in some kind of spirituality. It could be tarot. It could be anything. But finding something to cling to that gives you strength to keep moving forward, all right? Because I feel like you guys are kind of stuck in this grief. There's something called complicated grief. And it's when grief just lasts, like, a long time. So you could have really lost a parent or lost a partner, okay? Could even be someone that passed to the other side. And I feel like maybe finding spirituality will help you, okay? Mirror spirit reflecting vanity deflection. So someone here doesn't really want to deal with things, even though they're saying they think about you at night. We need to let each other go. And breathing room, freedom of movement, space, and ease. You guys might even be in separation already, but you might need to energetically separate from this person. I feel like you guys need some breathing room from this connection. And that person's saying, like, we need to let each other go because it could be hindering, you know, your your grieving process, their grieving process, something like that. So I'm going to pull the signs from spirit and just get confirmation on that. Songs, okay, music. You guys might be connecting through that and enchantment, red rose. I feel like you guys had this very promising connection. It could have been music that you guys connected to. That's what your the heart of your relationship was. And I feel like there was a lot of interest on both sides here. And I just feel like the timing wasn't right, okay? I want to pull from Twin Flame Messages Volume 2. I think the timing wasn't right, and one person might have been really grieving something. And so if you're wondering if this connection was genuine and felt on both sides, it definitely was. I just feel like the timing wasn't right. I am working towards a better future. I miss the feel of you next to me. I definitely feel there's like... um. When this person is on, like, on their bed at night, they definitely think of you and they crave like your presence, okay? Um, but I just feel like things need to be worked out for both of you guys. You might have both met at a time where you didn't even realize how much you had to grieve. Spirit of communication, love letter, email, text, phone call. I love that. So um, you might have either... You might be waiting on communication from this person, and I feel like it's going to come. You're going to eventually get that, okay? I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. And fantasy, imagination, conception, daydream. So you might feel like you're never going to hear from this person. It's only in your fantasy. Um, you know, you're never going to get that communication, but you definitely are, okay? So I'm going to pull some tarot about what's going on with that. I definitely feel like this person's like heart is with you. All right, we've got a heart, like a physical heart, and then that heart, and then this red rose. There's definitely love here. There's definitely um, like a connection here, but I just feel like there's definitely grief here too, okay? So I feel like you guys both came into each other's lives to um, facilitate the spiritual connection. That's what I was saying, like trying to reach out to some other spiritual, like, thing in your life to gain that strength because maybe you needed to be this heartbroken to get some kind of spirituality so you have that strength to overcome anything that comes your way okay so let's see gemini is a few more cards what are what's the spirit of communication about what's the hold up here Six of Swords, healing, grief, healing, nine of swords reverse, anxiety that needs and death and rebirth. That's what I'm Scorpio and two of swords. There's like a block with this connection because you guys were meant to help each other grieve and heal, I think, childhood wounds. Okay. And until you do that, you guys aren't gonna come together. But I still think you will eventually hear from this person, all right? They might tell you why you know it was so hard and also look i got another lesson there's still lessons to be learned here i feel like this person is very bound they could have addictions that they need to heal and recover from um this is like the devil tarot to me they could be dealing with capricorn but there's healing of codependency that needed to happen here okay and i think it's all about you finding the strength to overcome anything on your own and not feeling like you need anyone to do that one last card hidden oracle for a message from them okay i hide behind material things this person needs to go deeper, but I feel like they're avoiding it somehow, okay? This person um, might get their confidence from that, but I feel like they're going to end up... I want to pull one more, actually. I hope that you can forgive me one day. 
So I do feel like this person wants to say they're sorry in some way. I feel like they stepped away and I feel like you will definitely hear from them. It's just a matter of them sorting things out and being in touch with who they truly are and not hiding behind these masks. And also you could be dealing with a Scorpio. And I also think this relationship could have a rebirth, all right? I do see that potential here. You guys just both need to focus on getting through your healing, okay? All right, Gemini's, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.